Oh, yeah, freak end at the Freakers Ball time once again right here live on RealLibertyMedia.com on this Friday night, March 8, 2019. Yeah, we're live, uh, and we're also live on the audio stream, which goes everywhere. But the uh, video stream, you can catch that right there on the front of RealLibertyMedia.com. Just look at the show pages thing and pick Freakers Ball, and you'll be there. Or you can go on over to Vaughn.Live. Dot re, uh, uh, Vaughn dot live slash Real Liberty Media, or if you're listening on the audio stream, cool. Uh, yeah, that's everywhere. That's on the Real Liberty Media page. It's on the RLM Radio page. It's on FreedomsNetwork.com, RealLiberty.org. We're on Internet Radio, and we're on TuneIn.com. Oh, well, we're just all kinds of places, and uh, we'll be more places after the show for the recording part of it. But uh, yeah, welcome, 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 welcome to everybody out there in all the various places. You may be. Now, I, I realize that still on the show page for the Freakers Ball, there is a phone number listed there. Don't call it. Don't use it. It's no good. I'm not using that soft phone that I used to use any longer. So don't use that phone number that's up there on the site. Uh, you have to contact me on wire. I am at Grimner on wire. And uh, you can contact me that way. And then we can put you in. If you, if you really want to call, you just message me on the wire. I'll, I'll, I'll add you into mine and Moosey's group, and we'll talk to you that way. Uh, and uh, it'll be a good old time. We'll have some fun yakking at whoever, man. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyway, so uh, welcome to everybody. Um, I don't know who's out there hanging out on the Freedoms Network or or, or, or RealLiberty.org or Minds.com or those that found me on Twitter, or found us on Twitter, I should say. <laughs> but I do know who's here in the Real Liberty Media chat on irc.freenode.net. And that would be, to start off with, myself. Oh, no, I'm not top. Barman's on the top. Then there's Cowboy Tech. Then there's me and the Moose Girl. Then there's the wonderful Miss Kate. Anti is here and as Modius. Beth Z, welcome back. Oh, Beth Z, we've missed you. All right, we got Chelsea Doty, we got Graham Z, the awesome Graham Z. We got the Dom C, we got Meester Meister Brow, Mr. Woodman there. Rain and the Rob works in his bubbler. Mr. Rome's in that, I don't know what even to say about that Bob Coin thing, man. That thing is a cluster to, to cluster all clusters. We got Vanna White. Yeah, Vanna used to not be Vanna. Vanna, Vanna used to be uh, RLM Fluke, but... Uh, yeah, never mind. I, I'm not even going there. And right next to her is the Weather Dork, which is a new bot that we have here, uh, because the other weather thing didn't work out too well. Um, and uh, we got the Phantom, and we got, uh, and well then, Mr. Beat Doll is with us, and Ben Y from Eau Claire. We got the Cyborg Noodle, uh, Dakota and Frumpy and Gooberzilla. Yes, Gooba, you are part of the show, whether you like it or not. Um, <laughs> we got Java Dani, Java Java Java, Java Dani, Java. Yeah, we got we got <laughs> we got we, we got we got where uh, Java Doctor Two and 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 we got where was that? I got a second over there. Uh, we we got Kozu and then some of the board Pone Sauce, the sock puppet himself, uh, the Tech Man, the uh, Silent Tech Man. The Uno bot that I guess plays Uno, and finally, last but not least, Miss Donna Van Mira. Yes. And we got the Moose Girl. Certainly on, not least at all. We got the Moose Girl on yes, the wire. Me. You hear me? I, I hear you. You, you sound not good. hear me? No, yeah, yeah, you sound good. Oh, okay, good, good. Yeah, yeah. All right, cool. So yeah, I'm sorry, I'm a little bit late there, Grimmer. I. That's all right. I you know. Not a speech, you know it does. I just wasn't uh, prepared. That's all right. I, I do the intros I anyway. So you know. for a second, I'm like, crap. <laughs> the hell. Anyway, I'm here now. So, what's up? Oh, uh, nothing. Just uh, all right. Battling things. <laughs> battling things. Yes, aren't we all? Oh boy. On a daily basis. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, absolutely. Be true. Battling, you know, and for me, it's stupid little shit that really irritates me sometimes. 
Like, let's okay, go. I'm going to give you an example. Of right, an irritating me, thing. Give me an example. Tell me what you mean. This would only happen to me. This would only ha- I mean, it could happen to other people. Okay. But what are the odds? Okay. Yeah. So I'm going to get out of my car and go to work, into work. Yeah. I'm in the parking lot at work and going to, you know, get out of my car and go to work. And I pick up my purse to, to like, to take it out, you know? Right. And it gets, the fucking strap gets caught around the fucking visor. Oh, okay. The sun visor. All right. I mean, come on. What? That, that, that seems like an odd thing for it to get caught around. See? It, this would only here. happen to me. How, how, what's the I'm, dis- like, I'm like, how, fuck you. Like, I'm like, I'm not, this is an example of a I, thing I, that would see, only happen to me. See, Moose, I know you're pretty short, but uh, <laughs> but but I mean, how far are you from from the windshield? Because well, the visor kind of hangs down, you know, and I kind of lifted up my purse, and it's got like <laughs> these straps on it. It's not like a long strap; it's like two straps, and one of those straps got caught. Like, I'm going to get out of my car, and I was, like, carrying other stuff, like my hat and gloves or whatever, you know. It's winter. It's just sucky. Like, I had my coffee cup or something. You know what I mean? Right. So my hands weren't, like, I was carrying my coffee cup or something. And so I'm taking my going to get out of the car, and and I I, I notice that I can't because the fucking (laughs) purse strap is stuck around the fucking sunlight. I'm like... Fuck you, universe! <laughs> this only happened to me. You know what I'm saying? No, I, I it was do, nothing do, about being strangled or nothing like that. But I'm like, who the fuck does that happen to? Like, I want to know how many people in the world that has happened to. Like, I know weird, freaky things can happen, but it just seems like, yeah, I mean, <laughs> it's like, <laughs> fuck you! <laughs> Well, yeah, I, I'm trying, I'm trying to picture the interior. No, the struggle is real, Grim. The struggle I'm, is real. I, I'm trying to picture the interior of your car and the angle the that, that must come up at. Because uh, in my in a Jeep, you know, the 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 the, the windshield is pretty much straight up. Well, you know, I was like lifting it up to get out of the car, and the, <laughs> you know, like the one strap fell down, and but the other one got caught on the visor. I'm like, are you kidding me? <laughs> <It's> like, <laughs> That 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 that's Rome's law there happening to you. <laughs> yeah, it is. Oh, Mur- right. Mur- yeah, Mur- we Mur- call it Rome's law around here. Yeah, yeah. we do. Miss, and I Mr. thought of Rome's. <laughs> Mister Murphy. Because <laughs> we had, no, the same stuff happens to me too. It's yeah. not just certain people. It it's me too. Like I am totally like notorious for stuff like this to happen. Okay, just weird random shit that is just like just irritating. It's not like the end of the world. It's not the fucking, well, you know, it's just irritating. It gets irritating after a while. It's like, really? <laughs> you know, you just kind of go, after a while, you're like, really? Yeah. Really? You know, it's yeah. like, okay. You just have to accept it, I guess, and just make the best of it, you know. Right. But, you know, it's just like, <laughs> then, okay, <laughs> so the winter's so bad, right? I mean, like, we've had 80 inches of snow, over 80 inches of snow this winter, right? Right. Which is fucking a lot. Okay, right. and not to mention, we're getting 12 more tomorrow through Sunday, you know. And so anyway, so we're going to have like 92 inches of snow total. Well, let me tell you, right now, winter. right, right now. If you here, can imagine right. this, I mean, I looked over at my neighbor's yard the other day, like the, the part that's in between their, my driveway and their, they have a little yard there. Yeah. And it's seriously like a serious barge size fucking solid snow, dude. That's oh. like six feet high. God. It's well, like, let me, let me it's tell you, solid, most, uh... it's insane. I mean, I took pictures of my um, <laughs> the back of my house, the roof of the back of my house, because like oh, the ice dams are so bad, and even the front of my house, and uh, it's terrible. Like I saw some lady today out like in front of her house, like she had some kind of a steam tool or something, right? And she was like taking the ice dams out of there. Huh? But you know how long that would fucking take to do that? Probably a long time. I, I you have to use a hell of, hell, hell of hot water to fucking get that to be a quick process. I I'm, reckon, like, oh, I recommend, I'm like, oh, I'm like, I'm not even going to attempt that. I, I recommend the flamethrower. Uh, I, I, you know, I would recommend that. I, I seriously have, I need one of them. A flamethrower oh, yeah. thrower would be a very useful tool. Oh, Absolutely. Oh, absolutely. Why do I hear my answer in the background? For, like, melting snow and stuff, but other things, like yeah, protection like or whatever, super, you know. 
You got some like they keep coming in, in. You know, Moose. Moose. You can't hear me. Yeah, yeah. I don't know if you can hear me because I like can I, hear you. I hear myself coming out of the background of your side. But I can hear you. Am I? Am I? Did I, am I, am I, am I on, maybe am I, on, I unmuted my player. Am, nope, am I on my speakers muted. over there? Weird. Uh, all right. Anyway, um, so yeah, let me tell you that right now it's uh, forty-five degrees. Oh my fucking god! I can't. I've typed it so many times that I can't type it anymore. What? Oh, I just, well, what don't, needs don't to happen no, for no, people no to call into our show? No need to type. We'll talk to them. But oh, um, anyway, right now, fine. right now, here it is at nine thirteen in the p.m. Forty-five degrees here. We got some rain coming down, and we got wind yeah. of about thirty miles per hour. Ooh, that's nasty. <laughs> yeah, it made, made all my power go off a couple of times already. Oh, no, that's not good. Oh, well, you know, it's wind. It's, it's at least 21 degrees here now, but that that just means we're going to get 12 inches of snow tomorrow. You know what I mean? I right. mean, it's not, it's, it's depressing. It's depressing, dude. So if we do actually get 12 inches of snow, that'll be 92 inches of snow. Dang. Dang. Which Dang. is how many feet, Grim? Well, how many inches? 92. Well, if there's uh, 12 per, then uh, let's see, 12 times 8 is 96. So. So eight. like seven feet. Yeah, almost, almost eight. Almost eight feet. <laughs> and it's 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 so solid. Like seriously, I have to step up into my yard. Right. Like it's weird. It's really weird. Like I'm so high up. I'm like five feet up in my yard to let the dog out. Like our the dog passed. Like, there's just a path that we made yeah. for him. It, I'm five feet off the ground. I had to have like a little steps steps built into the snow to get up into the yard to take the dog up to his path. Right. It's nuts. It's crazy. I never. I seriously. I have never seen this much snow in my life. Well, I can see you now. Okay, well, let me, when I was a kid. Uh, well, we used to get some bad storms and a lot of snow when I was okay, a kid, okay, too. Okay, okay let, me, let, me, let, me uh, talk, let me talk for a minute. Oh, okay, sorry. All right. Gooberzilla and anyone else that doesn't quite understand, we're no longer taking phone calls over the phone lines here on the Freaker's Ball. So what you have to do if you want to contact us here on the Freaker's Ball is download and install Wire. Here's a link. That's that's the direct link to the free personal version right there. So you download that and you install that. And once it's installed and set up on your computer, search for a new user at Grimnir. And you'll find me, and I'll add you to my to our Freakers Ball group, where where we talk from here on the Freakers Ball. Imagine that! Isn't that funny how it works? Anyway, and so that's that. <laughs> and that's all I got to say about that. He's not listening. Because if you call on that phone that thing, matter. if you call on that <laughs> phone thing, I'm not answering. Oh my gosh! Okay. Um. Well, we can't worry about that. He's been told what he needs to do. If he can't comprehend it, that's not our problem. What, what, um, are, you, what are you talking about? Weather Dork is telling Frumpy I already linked that. Well, I, I linked I, it, too. I, I linked yeah, it, like, yeah. a few times. Not the download one, but the link to get the download, I mean. Oh, okay. Anyway. So I, anybody I, else that wants, that's on wire and wants to call in can call in via wire. <laughs> because that's the that's, the, that's the, the the medium that we use now instead of Skype because Skype fucking sucks ass. Yeah, we don't we don't so Skype anymore. Anything that you can do that when you're not using Skype is so much better than Skype. I mean, that's why we do that because right. fuck Skype. No fuck phone. The NDA, or fuck the how many NSA. Times, how many how many times must I say it, Goober? No phones. It, not for to be like you could call Grimner on the phone and, and have a private conversation with him, but it wouldn't be on the air. <laughs> so to call him during our show via the act, an actual phone is stupid because you wouldn't be heard <laughs> over the air. If you want to call in and be heard over the air, you need to download Wire, add us, add the Freakers Ball channel. No, you just have whatever, to add a person, and then call in. You you would add me at Grimner. 
and then I could add you to the add you to the Freakers Ball conference call. <laughs> and then you will be on the air. Yeah, it's cool, man. It's neat how it works. He, it doesn't matter. He's just fucking around now. He has no desire, really. If he really wanted to call in, he would have downloaded Wire by now. Well, somebody and, called me on the phone twice as I was so, playing the opening, right. the, the opening bit there. So, whatever. Okay, you keep posting. He's just, he's because, just being a distraction now. Because he That's doesn't all. listen. He doesn't listen, so. All right, no, we're going to play some music it's here fine. anyway. It's not our fault. What? No, no we're going to play some music right now. Okay, sounds great, Grim. Oh, you know Thanks what? for tuning in, everyone, to the Freakers Ball. And uh, let's hear some awesome music. I'm sure it'll be good because we usually play kick-ass awesome music on the show. So. Well, before I do yeah. that, let me see if I can't. Oh, yeah. See if I can't uh, get this thing lined up properly because it's not lined up properly. I'm hearing Prince Purple Rain in the background. That's it's kinda not cool. coming for me. <laughs> no, I no for me. I, I okay. So I have the radio playing in the background because otherwise it's too echoey in here, and yeah. like the kids aren't here or nothing. So it's like so echoey. Oh okay. But no one can hear it. it doesn't. It's just for my own, my own thing. Never mind. It's hard to explain. Whatever. Let me get rid of that one. That one's that one. I think that one's causing me an issue. Ooh, Rob Zombie. <laughs> just trying to get this thing lined All up. All right, people. Um, hang on. I'm trying to get this thing lined up. So talk uh, about Vinny is on wire. Yes, yeah, so Vinny is well aware of wire. Vinny is because aware. Because he, I called him on wire. We had a conversation on wire, him and I. I mean, we called, I called him on wire and talked to him. Right. So, um, yes, he is well aware of wire. Oh, yeah. Vinny yeah. loves the wire. Vinny, Vinny, we, we talk to Vinny on wire all the time. Oh, yeah. All the, like, me, Grimner, all the, you know, um, who else is in there? Uh, Flash, Sir, Grammy, Meister Bro, Rob. Right. Yep, we're all in the on wire. Yep. So, yes, we are. Up to you, man. It's The ball's in your court, Goob. So don't be putting it on us and acting like we're the idiots here because we just told you several times if you want your voice heard on the Freaker's Ball, we've told you how to do it. And if you don't want to do it and you choose not to do it, that isn't on us. That is on you, man. So this this little stuff that game that you're playing in here, is the just... semantics and shit, it, 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 it's dumb because you have not listened to what we've told you on how to get onto the show and be heard on the air if that is what you want. If you don't want to do that, then don't download Wire and shut the fuck up about calling in. Right. Do do what you need to do to be able to get <laughs> Wire so you can call into the show and be heard over the air. Absolutely. Okay, we're ready okay. to go. So, yep. Okay, let's go. All right. Rob right. Zombie. Yeah. Yeah, don't let our true love run cold, baby. Steve Ray Vaughn, double trouble there with Cold Shot. Now, I don't know how many of y'all remember, but uh, way back in the early 80s, that's, that, that was the first time I ever saw Stevie Ray Vaughn was on the MTV when they actually played music videos. Yeah. It was quite something. What's going on here with my goddamn audio? All right. Uh, anyway, so, yeah, that was uh, excellent stuff. The song before that that uh, you all were calling out for uh, various qualities, NPCs or or Satanic or Illuminati. <laughs> I'm not really familiar with the band, but the, song, but the band is called Cage the Elephant, and the song is Cold, Cold, Cold. And we kicked it off there with Rob Zombie and Ging Gang Gong De Do Gong De La Garaga. <laughs> I didn't like that one, the second one. You didn't like that, KG Elephant? No, no. Uh, right. Too Illuminati, too over the top satanic. I don't even know who the <laughs> fuck they are. Never I don't know who they are either, I, I found uh, the video and no, I was like, don't oh. Don't trust them. 
Uh, Don't trust that man at all. I, fi I found a video and I said, that there, that there is Freaker's Ball quality. It is, but I don't want to be known as, like, the Illuminati t Channel. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> all right. Uh, I mean, I think some well, of those bands you know, are put out, put so, out so, there purposely to, like... So are, are you um, saying, are you saying then that... Influence people in a certain way, you know what I mean? Are, are you Purposely, saying, are you saying, you know? Moose, Moose? What? Are, are you saying that we should never again? No, it? no, I'm not saying that. that, that oh my should, God, that don't we, even go there. That, no, that. I'm just saying that I think that <laughs> some music, some, well, I know for, for certain that they do. Oh, movies, music, books, so, you but, name it. Whatever. So, they got but, their hand in it and they put out a certain you know, thing to uh, to appeal to a certain kind of person. But, but no, are, Jim, but but, are, but are, are you saying that we should never again <laughs> play The Devil Makes 3? No, I'm not saying that at all. <laughs> Hang on a second. I got to just... <laughs> Because because they're they're uh they're they're definitely uh on that road. Where'd you go? Oh, she walked away. All right, she walked away. All right. <laughs> anyway, well, one, of, one of Moose Girl's favorite bands there, The Devil Makes Three. Uh, they're, they're definitely, uh, uh, they, they have some satanic elements to their music. <laughs> and she likes them a lot because it's the bluegrass, bluegrass devil music. Yipper, pepper. <laughs> okay, Free. I'm back. Yeah. So, so, so no, so, I'm so, just saying. You're, you're saying no more Devil Makes Three. No, I'm not saying that. Oh, okay. No, I, you can play whatever you want, girl. I don't care. I don't care. I just, I just that video to me was a totally satanic video. <laughs> And and, and it, uh, I'm not saying it wasn't right. Um, <laughs> it, it's fine, whatever. Each to their own, you know. If you want to fucking worship the goddamn devil, go ahead. You right, know, which right. I think the devil's made up anyway. So, so what, what do you what, construct? What what do you think about Catholics in general? <laughs> um, from my experience, when I was growing up, I had a best friend that was Catholic. And so I even went to mass with her sometimes, her and her family. And, and did they do it in Latin? No, well, yeah, certain parts of it were in Latin. The, okay. the priest or whatever would say the incantations or whatever the fuck they call call it in Latin. Okay, well yep. here's my. It was old. Well, this was back in the seventies, dude. You know, right. come well, on. Well, well, here's 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 why I asked. Now, now you know that Tuesday, this past Tuesday, yeah, was Fat Tuesday. Right. And, and Wednesday, that's the beginning of Lent, right? Yes, Ash okay. Wednesday. Ash Wednesday, exactly. Yep. So here's the story. Mm -hmm. Teacher forced nine-year-old student to wash the Ash Wednesday cross oh, I knew you were off their forehead. Go ahead. Put them on your forehead to show who he is. What's talking about? Student in his class with an Ash video. Stop. Stop. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yeah, a teacher in the predominantly Mormon state of Utah. Do we have any Mormons here, Utahians? And <laughs> well, then, uh, was placed on administrative leave after she forced the Catholic student to wash off the Ash Wednesday cross. Yeah, see, forehead. it's no big deal. If, if you want to be a Catholic, I have no issue. If you want to have a fucking cross on your head that's made with ashes fuck i don't care i mean what the hell that that teacher is bullshit that's bullshit all right well whatever william mcleod yeah. nine years old had just returned to his school from his from uh, school near salt lake city after attending a catholic mass when his fourth grade teacher called the ash uh, marking inappropriate and gave him a hand wipe to clean it off in front of his classmates his grandmother, Karen Fisher, said. At, fir <laughs> at first, William explained that he couldn't remove it because it was important for the beginning of Easter, but eventually he did. Hmm. Uh, he went to see the school psychologist crying 
uh, he was embarrassed. The incident, well, yeah. the incident at Valley View Elementary in Bountiful, Utah, is being taken very seriously, and an investigation into whether the disciplinary, disciplinary action will be levied against Williams' teacher has been opened, said school said Davis District School wow. District spokesman. You said uh, the teacher was fired, right? No, no, no. She's just been put on administrative leave. Oh, she's going to be fired. Oh, she should be fired. It says the actions were unacceptable. No student should ever be asked to or required right. to remove an ash cross from their forehead. Um, right, anyway, she should be fired. The, the, the thing it, is, it would be like it would be like if there was like a a person in the a kid in the class that wore a you know a scarf on their head or whatever. Muslim or whatever had to keep right, their head or, covered. Or some Jew had a star of David. Asked them to remove it. So some Jew Which had a star happened. of David on his neck or whatever. Um, yeah, it has well, Okay, now, now I, 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 although I was baptized as a Catholic, I yeah. don't know. I don't know many of the Catholic rituals. Um, so I don't. I don't really understand You're why. You're lucky that you don't know the like a lot of it. I, I don't really understand why they would. Um, What's the deal? Why do you why do you put it? What's the ash represent in the first place? It represents Christ being put on the cross. Well, he didn't burn him. No, but it's a symbolic thing, Grim. Okay, and then why on the floor? So we got to, so it went. What was what do they call Tuesday? What do they call it? Fat Tuesday. Mardi Fat Gras. Tuesday, and then you got Ash Wednesday. Then you got Monday Thursday. Monday Thursday with M A U N M A U N D Y Thursday. What, what what is that? And this is when they put him on the cross. Ash Wednesday is when he was dragging the cross to get to the site where they were going to hang him up on it. Monday Thursday is the day they put him on it. All right. And Good Friday, I believe, is the day that he fucking Gross. died. Supposedly, right? Right. So uh, something like that. You gotta. I gotta look it up. I gotta look it up. How it goes. But uh, yeah, them Catholics. The whole week is like a holy week, really. If you were like a totally devout Catholic, totally devout Catholic, okay, you would well, be the starting Lent where you'd have to give up something or whatever. Okay. Blah, blah, blah. So, so, so tell me this. Uh, I this, think Ash this... Wednesday might be like when he was cru- when he was like convicted or whatever, and then. He had to carry the cross because because he didn't. He didn't. I don't know something and, like but that. But because, because he, he was up on there for a while, dude. Because he supposedly didn't die until Good he Friday. Was, right, he like was up there weeks, for a while. Six six weeks later. Right, because Good Friday is just before Easter, right? Right. See, we haven't had Good Friday yet. No, no, it's like six weeks. No, no, we haven't had Good Friday yet. So never mind. I'm getting it all <laughs> fucked up. But yeah, it's the start of Lent. Tuesday was the start of Lent. All right, all right, Wednesday wait, 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 was Ash second. Wednesday. Wait a second, wait a I, second. Beth, Beth Z is giving the answer here. Ash Wednesday derives its okay. name from the placing of repentance ashes, oh. whatever those are, on the foreheads of participants in in to either the words repent and believe in the gospel or the dictum, remember that you are dust and to dust you shall return. Uh, the ashes may be prepared by burning palm leaves which uh, I another thing that confuses oh, me. Oh, okay, that's where, where they where, get the ashes. Where, it's from burning where, where those palm they, leaves. Where, yep. where, what does the palm leaf have to do with anything? Um, that has to do with him because it just it's it. it I had to look it up. It's been so long <laughs> since I fucking knew. You know what I mean? Researched it or whatever. It's, it's, it's a bizarre ritual. I don't understand. It, it is bizarre, and it's me. You know, to me, I don't believe in the story. I don't believe in the it, the. the uh, what do they call it? Immaculate conception. I don't believe that. I believe if Jesus existed, he was an actual human being. He wasn't no fucking different than any other human being. That's what I believe. This is what I believe. You know, the story has been... It, it, it's been misconstrued and like totally like slanted and tilted and, you know... You, it, it's just to me, I don't believe in the Immaculate Conception. Because he was a human. And in order to be a fucking human, you cannot be immaculately, immaculately conceived, because it just doesn't fucking happen. Okay. It doesn't happen. 
It can't happen. And so, and, and so they made all the other stuff up. They made up the Immacul Immaculate Conception for sure. No, no, but okay, they made up him walking on water, turning water into wine, right. laying, laying his hands on people and healing them. They made all that up. Um, I think that he did lay his hands on people and heal people because I think humans have the ability to do that. Okay, so he did if that. If they really want to be able to have the ability to do that, a human being can actually learn how to heal somebody with their hands. Okay. I do believe so, that. Okay, not so, just Jesus Christ, any so, human. But do you think he turned water into wine? No, I do not. Do you think he walked on water? No, I don't. Unless do you, it was like on a fucking raft or something. Do you, do you think he did that part where, uh, what is it, you take a fish and a loaf it, of bread and you, feed, of bread and you feed a thousand people or whatever No, I it don't was. believe that he did that. Uh, I, don't, I, don't, I, don't, I don't know that part of the story. No, um, I, I, th I think maybe some people came along or someone came along and fucking decided to feed all these fucking people. You know what I mean? I don't think it was like a miracle. You know, it wasn't like he just out of thin air. No, it wasn't like that. Uh, okay. No, I don't believe that in, for a second. Uh, all he right. walked on wine. <laughs> he walked on wine. <laughs> he might have done that. I mean, they did make wine back then. And in order to make wine, you had to crush grapes by walking on them, stomping on them. Right. That's how they did it. And they still do that in the old country, back in Greece or somewhere, you know. Yeah, France or whatever. Yeah, wherever. But um, I don't believe those miracle things. No, <laughs> you know, no, I don't believe that. Uh, uh, okay. No. no. I, well, for one thing, I don't believe the the, the origin of his birth, the, the, his supposed the immaculate conception, right there. I'm like, no fucking way. No, that didn't happen. No uh -huh. fucking Gabriel came down and impregnating Mary. Magically, that didn't that, it just no. Well, maybe it was some guy named Gabriel. If, unless another... they were aliens, or not, not unless they were not human. Okay, well, uh, so I'm not really possible? that possibility out. The only other possibility that could just explain that is that they were not human beings. That, they were that... another species of being. You know what I mean? So, so, so you, so you believe in aliens? Yeah, I believe in aliens. Okay. Well, that's good. I mean, how can how can you how can there be such a vast universe, and there not be other life like we have? You know what I mean? It just doesn't. There maybe has it, to be. You maybe, know what maybe, I mean? Maybe maybe the programmer was lazy and didn't code it in. Maybe I don't know, but all I know <laughs> was that I got what I got. You know, this all is right. what it is. Well, for speaking me, of I mean, aliens. What? Said speaking of aliens. Yes. Alien mega ship or dust sheet. <laughs> Red Dwarf's light show uh, show baffles astronomers. So here, here here's the story. It's on RT.com. Okay. Uh, a star's drastic dimming has sparked intrigue amongst astronomers due to the strange manner in which it faded. Observers spotted a deep, day-long asymmetric dimming of a, the recently detected star's light. A new study reveals... Epic two zero four three seven six zero seven one. Epic <laughs> was, was, <laughs> Epic. A, was observed dimming by eighty percent for the entire day uh, before brightening again at a slower rate than it was dimming. Uh, the star is about ten million years old. How do you know? Uh, and <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> and is just four hundred and four just four hundred and forty light years from Earth. Uh, after the dimming, the star. Uh, Who's talking now? Oh, don't we? Okay. Uh, that's after, me. After, sorry. Uh, that's that's all right. I just saw flashing, and I was anyway. Okay. The, the, the star appeared quiet during 160 days of observation uh, by NASA's Kepler spacecraft in its K2 mission. Uh, the study's authors note: scientists aren't sure what's caused the mysterious light reduction, but have ruled out another star eclipsing it. Uh, the blocking of the star, known as an oculation, was asymmetrical as the exit of the light blocking object was twice as long as its entry. Uh, the team believed it could have been caused by one of two options intrinsically circular disk of dusty material anchored to a minor body orbiting the host star or dust sheet, um, or a massive alien ship. 
and then they have a couple other options here. Um, a circular disk that could be a USO or UFO or a new space phenomenon. So you'll have to you have to make the pick yourself. They, they, you can you can select one of these here on this article, and uh, the, the the top one is is uh, got the most votes. Uh, a massive alien ship, obviously. Duh. <laughs> All right. Oh, you don't you put a link there. Oh, hey, Andrew. All right. So uh, yeah, yeah, I'm gonna say uh, yeah. There yeah. you go. Okay. What? Ma- no. Massive alien ship. That's by go go and look at that article that I linked in there. And place, I will. I will look at that. Definitely. Vote. I'm gonna click on it right now so I can bookmark it. Place your votes, boys and girls. I'm gonna look. I'm gonna bookmark this. <laughs> Done. Okay. All right. Good, good. Okay. All right, then. Let me just bookmark this one, too, so I don't lose it. Okay. All right. Yeah, we, there could be, re- there are regular size ones. I mean, there's all sizes. Right. I'm sorry, Rob Works. Yeah. Sorry for messing, I forgot, okay. You know, I got a new computer and everything. I'm just getting used to it still. I mean, I forget. I forgot that I have a more awesome machine now than my old one. <laughs> so I can do other thing, more things now, you know, things that I wasn't able to do on my other computer. Right. Like my, my son, Zach, came here because they were going up to their dad's. Yeah. And he, he didn't have seen my new computer and new setup and everything with the new monitors and stuff. Yeah. yeah. And so he's like, oh, that computer's way really small. I'm like, yeah, it looks small, but it's freaking powerful, dude. <laughs> <laughs> you know? Yeah. He he's like looking at me like, yeah, right. It's like computers aren't as huge now as they used to be. You know what I mean? Right. Uh, Jackson's clawing. He's digging something. Digging at something. <laughs> God, it's freaking dog psycho, dude. <laughs> okay. Yeah, so, so you, okay. You, so you, no? want, you want to see this? Yeah, okay, so this is a ridiculous video of that was taken in Boulder, Colorado by a roommate of a dude. He's a black guy. You know, I don't know if the, the videographer was black or white, and it doesn't really fucking matter. It doesn't matter about the color of the guy picking up. So this guy was, um, yeah, that's because I switched to my headset now, Ben. So when I hear videos, I can switch to the speaker, but then when I'm talking with Graham, I need to be on my headset, and I forgot well, to do that. Uh, so uh, another up. better thing is I don't hear me coming back in the background. So. Exactly. Yeah, I fucked up. It's my fault. It's all on me. Go figure. You that know, darn I forgot loose. to do it. I forgot to switch it over. <laughs> so anyway, they li- the guy lives there. Where he's picking up garbage at is in front of his freaking house. Okay, Backyard. And his roommate is filming this because the cops show up. And not just one cop, just, hey, what you doing, blah, blah, blah. You know, it could have been as easy as, hey, I live here. I'm picking up trash that's on my, my house here. Right. And the cop would be like, oh, okay, no problem. You know, carry on. No, yeah. that's not what happened here. So just, he, I, Grim, can you play the video for a little bit? And yeah. uh, then here we can we, uh, here we go. play the video and... Um, you guys will see what I'm talking about. This is a bucket. He's picking up trash. With a garbage, one of those clamps, you know, they use for garbage. Sure, you know? sure. He's holding one of those, the, the cop thinks it's a weapon. He's got a bucket and one of those clamps that they use to pick up garbage. <laughs> ridiculous. <laughs> he doesn't have a weapon, he's got a garbage clamp. <laughs> Stupid pigs. In a bucket. See, there's six cops. He lives there, he people. He's picking up garbage outside six of his cops. house. Six, six cops for a guy picking up trash in his own yard. 
I mean, so you don't leave them alone. Like, you could fast forward a little bit, Grim, because, the, like, the, all these other cops show up. Over. Like, eight cops show up for this. I mean, maybe that's it's the wrong not. video. I don't know. So this one's almost It's a over. long video. It's a long video. All right, this is not the one, then. No, it isn't. It's not the whole video. No, sorry. That's the wrong link. Well, Let me get right the other link. link. Hang on. You know what? I can scroll down and see if there's more No, it more doesn't videos. matter. Just people watch this video. You would, it's, it's hilarious. I mean, I was literally laughing. I mean, but this one... Okay, here's another one. Yeah, it's the only video in that story. That is, is not cool at all. And totally ridiculous. And nothing will happen to these pigs. No, of course um, not. Because they will be protected by the thin, the blue line. So here you go, Grandma. I'll link this one too. I, I know you you know which one I'm talking about here. Pretty sure. So anyway, this one's bad, people. And listen to the, in, the 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 name of the town is um, a Shelley, a Shelley, Oklahoma. And this is where this happened. But you got to play either. I think the top one, Grim, is the the good one. Unless, right, yeah, well, play the top one. That's difficult to play, but with the guy in his underwear. Oh well, yeah, because because it, it's all like up and up up. It's it's. Oh, I see the sizing. Yeah. All right, play the other one then. The news one, I guess. Well, I think that's but... the same one that we just played. What? Maybe not. We'll try it. Okay. <laughs> Oh shit, I shut down for what the hell? I closed Real Liberty Media. Oh, my God. But no, you don't have to play it, I guess. Just okay. that one pissed me off big time. I think you posted that one a couple days ago. I think I did, didn't you? You did. Yeah, that one pissed me off big time. You don't have to play that one. It's it's disturbing. I mean the way they talk to these people and the way that they just the lack of respect, you know, you know, they train these cops to fucking not respect people. Right. At all. And not to trust them. police department they, they, has been placed they, on paid okay. suspension. You'll just, you'll just mute those people. <laughs> uh, yeah. So, uh, oh, that's right. Yeah. The entire police department was, was, was placed on suspension for a week. Uh, but, yeah, they, uh, not not really a, a big important thing. I, I mean, it's a big it's important thing. Being reviewed by their internal re affairs, so you know they're yeah, going to yeah. be found. We investigated it. ourselves and found ourselves to be not guilty. Exactly, it's it's bad. It's <laughs> right, bad. They got here. All four okay. officers will be suspended with pay. Actually, Mayor David Northcutt says termination is a possibility. There were several issues which. Termination. Which the was delivered, Total. as well as um, yeah. just other actions that occurred at the residence. The officers will be interviewed, and the body cam footage will be reviewed by the town's oh, board of cool. trustees. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nothing's gonna happen. Nope. nope. They'll still have jobs. Oh, they were within their. They I mean, were look at that mask. In. That one's wearing. Is he wearing a? F Back that up, Grim. Did you see that mask that one was wearing? Oh yeah, he got like a baklava over his face. A mask on there? Yeah, he's he's wearing a you know a scarf, a baklava thing on his face. Hang on a second, Grim. I gotta mute for a second. All right. Yep, yep, yep. They are hiding their faces, and they and they wouldn't say their names. And uh, um, yeah, so that that guy there, this dickhead right here, can't really see his face. They don't really show that on the camera too much. Him hiding his face. But uh, he definitely was hiding his face. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Did you see that mask yeah, yeah. thing? Yeah. Yeah. I saw that. Like I said. Serious fuck. There was a, like a toddler, or like a two-year-old or three-year-old kid in there. Right. When this was going on. And I'm surprised there was a big great dean in there. What I'm surprised now? they didn't shoot that fucking doc. Oh, exactly. Yeah. I'm so surprised they didn't shoot that fucking. The only reason they didn't shoot that dog is because it wasn't barking. If that dog would have been barking, it would have been fucking dead. Right. Because those guys, the way they talk to these people, it's horrible. If, oh, sure. if the cops think that you're a criminal, they will not treat you with respect at all, dude. Exactly. And they'll bend the rules, you know, oh, you're not supposed to do this. You know, they don't. They ignore that shit. They do whatever the fuck they want to you. Right. 
Yeah, they suck. They suck big time. And if you don't, I mean, I mean, I don't, I don't fucking provoke them because I just, I'm just aware of, very aware of them. <laughs> you know what I mean? I'm yeah, very yeah. aware of them. Yeah, you don't really want to provoke them because they will kill no, you. No, you don't. You know. And then so I go to this mu- music festival every year that's here in Eau Claire, right? Yeah. And what they do, and this is total fucking coolers and total fucking imp- improper to me. It's it's called, um, what's that word, Grim? Not coercion. What's that word I'm thinking of? Entrapment. Know. Entrapment. Okay, so what they do is at these music festivals is they have officers that are walking around the festival in uniform, right? Mm-hmm. But they also have undercover officers walking around to bust people as well. Right. Which to me, that's wrong. Oh, okay? absolutely wrong. Sure. Undercover is bullshit, dude. Yes, it if is. You're gonna be the fucking authority. And you better fucking have that goddamn costume on, bitch. Yeah. You know, don't be trying to fucking use all these little tactics that you got trying to fit in when you got a fucking buzz cut. And think that people are going to, you know, not know you're a fucking undercover narc fucker. Right. You know? Come on. I mean, they even have girls coming in there, you know? Oh, where's the drugs? It's like, really? That's not how you find <laughs> fucking drugs at a festival. You don't go up to random people and go, do you guys have any drugs? Good. Really? Really, girl? Really? Yeah. The tactics are lame. Undercover is bullshit. All right? Right. But me, I have this fucking radar and shit. I can spot them from a mile away. Sure. Because they don't look, they don't fit in. They yeah. don't fucking fit in. You know? Right. You can spot them from a mile away. To me, undercover tactics, that's bullshit. That's yeah. coercion, that's entrapment. You know? If you're going to be busting people and shit, you better have that goddamn costume on. Don't be trying to act like you don't, you aren't them when yeah, you they, are. They, they all think they're Serpico or something, you know. Yeah. Oh, I'm a badass. <laughs> I'm busting people for weed at a festival. Oh yeah, real badass there, buddy. Yeah. Right. Good job. Good job. Going after the stoners, busting really taking your life in your hands. Music festival. Way to go, buddy. <laughs> what you should really be busting people for is drinking and driving out there. All right? Because these yeah. people, this festival, they're not driving. Right. You know, if there are people driving, go sit over by the fucking, where where people drive out and follow them and see if, you know what I mean? See if they're drunk. Otherwise, 80% of the people that, or 90% of the people that attend that festival are staying right the fuck there. Exactly. You know, they're smoking weed. Oh my God. Big fucking deal. You know? Yeah. If we, if we at a music festival is your biggest worry, then there's something fucking wrong with that picture. With that person. You know, yeah. I mean, come on. Absolutely. No question about it. It's fucking bullshit. And I can spot them a mile fucking away. You know, and then they got the ones that are walking around, like I said, in uniform. But then they got the other ones that are walking around out of, not in uniform, you know, standing next to somebody. And then someone next to them pulls out a p- pinchy. Ooh, a pinchy. It's not like they got a pound of fucking weed on them. And they're dealing it right there to people. Here, have some weed, have some weed. They don't, no, they're smoking their own personal weed in a little one-hitter. And you're going to be a fucking motherfucking jackboot to, and bust somebody for that? That's what they do. Are you kidding me, dude? No, easy stuff for them, man. That's, that's, Are you kidding me? No, uh, how fucking lame. How pussy is that? Total, it's fucking pussy total. to the nth degree. It's as pussy as you can fucking get. So that you know what that tells me? Most of fucking cops, <laughs> guess what they are? They're fucking pussies. There you go. And yep. they're stupid. Stupid fucking pussies. Yep, stupid fucking pussies. Yeah, and you absolutely. know what? Come and get me, bitches. Fuck you. Shove your fucking costume up your fucking ass. And you know what? <laughs> if you really want to fit in at a music festival, look the fucking part. Oh, God. Don't be coming in there with no fucking jar head crew cut and your fucking nasty ass shoes. You're so fucking obvious, dude. It, you look like a fucking, you stick out like a sore fucking thumb. 
Yep. You know, they're waiting to find, you know, and they're worth one of their biggest tactics. Oh, we'll just wait till later when people are more drunk and not paying attention as much. Oh, yeah, that makes you a real fucking badass, doesn't it, bitch? Oh, yeah. Uh, for weed at a music festival. Woohoo! Way to fucking go, dude. Yeah. Impressive. Not. Not. <laughs> All right, let's play some more music. Yeah, let's do that. <laughs> Fuck uh, that undercover shit, though. Yeah, fuck these bastards. The hell do they think they are? Right. All right, this is uh, Paul Revere and the Raiders. Paul Revere and the Raiders. Come on, come on, come on. Go, go, come on. Ah, uh, yes. Angry J. Malmsteen there. Doing While My Guitar Gently Weeps. Nice stuff. Uh, before that, we had Kenny Wayne's Shepherd Band doing the old Fleetwood Mac tune. Oh, well. Uh, Peter Green's Fleetwood Mac, I should specify. And we kicked it off there with Paul Revere and the Raiders doing kicks. Them kicks just keep getting hotter to find. What's that? What's that? You know, I, heard I you had say... to switch back to the headset. Okay. I had to switch <laughs> back to the headset. I didn't uh, want to be uh, all uh, distorted again and annoying, which I'm not. I mean, I you know I don't try to be annoying, <laughs> 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 but whatever. <laughs> I mean, I have to deal with annoying people like all day long at my job. Yeah. You know, like some people are really super nice, so I should I take that back. Like, I'd say like sixty percent of the people I deal with are awesome. 40% right. of the people I do with suck. Suck. They just suck. They're assholes. Sure, sure. You know, and it's just like, and I get it to a point, you know, but at the same time, it's like, dude, do you have to be such a fucking dick? You know, that's what you want to say, you know. Exactly. Um, and so, it's not, you know, it's a customer service job, and... It's a little bit different because I'm dealing with, like, the public. Like, I've always been in customer service, but, like, the last job that I had was customer service, but the, they were, like, my internal customers, you know? Right. And so it was a little bit different because I knew who they were. I got to know who they were. I understood what, you know what I mean? But these, you get these random people calling in, like, just, they have, people will call in and just ask bizarre fucking questions, dude. Just, like... Some lady calls in and she's got, like, she's from the deep south or whatever, and she's got a bad connection on a cell phone or whatever. And she's like, you all sell any chains for boots? And I'm like, what? <laughs> chains for boots? You all sell any of them chains that they put on some boots? And I'm like, what the fuck is she talking about? You know, I'm thinking, what the fuck? What are you talking about? I'm like, I'm sorry, what are you talking about? I'm like, you're talking for, like chains for like traction <laughs> you know because it's winter time you know we have you know there's they sell these items that are like um well they like, like cleats for your boots you know what i mean so you have more traction like they just strap on the bottom of your boots like spikes on there you know what i mean uh, okay so you can like walk in ice like you don't have to deal with this shit because you don't live in a climate like i do you're right but about up that. Here, I could have used them. I could use some of those. I mean, if I keep living in Wisconsin, I'm getting some of them. Okay. Spikes for my boots. So anyway, I'm like, what are you talking about? <laughs> 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 well, you know how they have, you, sell, you know, to decorate your boots. Decorate? And I'm like, oh. And she's thinking like cowboy boots and like they put like decorations on there or something. Yeah. So I did a quick internet search, you know, on Google or whatever, and I'm like, oh, okay. I'm like, no, we don't sell that here. <laughs> <laughs> but then you get people that call up, and they're like, um, yeah, I got some boots from you guys, and I need to return them, blah, blah, blah. And they'll be like, okay, what's your order number or whatever? And they'll tell you, and then you look it up. You won't find it. And, or you know the order number is not one of your order numbers because it's, it's not – it wouldn't be the the number, Right. Right. They didn't even order the boots from you. It's a whole, you know, they're like, I'm like, um, you're not in my system. I don't think you ordered boots from us. Oh, I must have called the wrong number. 
<laughs> like 20 minutes later. You know what I mean? Yeah. Oh, my God. You know? Uh, you know, what, what, what are you going to do? You got nothing better to do. Yeah. And so it's like, oh, my God, people. And it, you just get some doozies, you know? And it's just like ho- totally. So I have to let my dog out right now. All right. He's going fucking crazy. Okay. I don't know if you want to play tunes right now or no, just freaking. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna talk about Alex. I'm, I'm gonna okay. Talk, I'm gonna talk about. I will Alex be back. Quebec. I know it's a pain in the ass, me? but it's can like can you hear me? Fucking kid. Hello, hello. Can you hear me? Hello. It, yes, I can hear you. Can you hear me? <laughs> yes, I hear you fine. What happened? Nothing. I was trying to talk, tell you something. And, oh, sorry. And, and go ahead. <laughs> I said I'm going to talk about Alex Trebek. Oh yeah. Oh okay. That's I know what's going on. So yeah, all right, it's, a good, all right. it's a good time for me to take my dog out. Yeah, all right, there you okay, go. I'll be back. Okay. So uh, many of you probably know that Alex Trebek is the host of a show, TV television game show called Jeopardy, that airs every single night there, well Monday through Friday. And uh, <laughs> I know, I know, Rob. Anyway, so. <laughs> Oh, anyway, so uh, I, I watch Jeopardy. I watch it every night, um, and and, and I, I I love the show. It's a great show. Uh, I, I record it on my thing. I don't have to watch it, you know, whenever it comes on, and I don't have to watch the commercials or anything like that. But I like answering the questions. It's like the trivia here. We're playing the trivia in the chat. I'm telling you, man. Like tonight, tonight's show, I would have beat all three of those assholes easily, which is the case many nights, because I sit there and I answer the questions before these idiots even buzz in. So, anyway, whatever. So, anyway, I've been watching. Uh, yes, it's still on Best Z. It's on every single night. Uh, you should know uh, Alex is a uh, Canuck. <laughs> One of your more famous Canucks. Yeah. So, um, <laughs> anyway, so uh, he's he's been uh, diagnosed, Alex, with a stage 4 pancreatic cancer, which sounds pretty serious, but uh, he said he's going to beat it. So, uh, well, I hope he does. I, mean, I can't imagine... Putting another person in there uh, to to fill in his thing here. Anyway, I came across this story on MarketWatch.com. Alex Trebek's pancreatic cancer diagnosis, everything you need to know. Uh, More than 56,700 Americans are expected to be diagnosed with pancreatic cancer like the Jeopardy host this year. Their odds are not often very good. Um, So... The thing here I, I, I have to ask um, about this is why are so many people getting the pancreatic cancer? It says this form of cancer is the third deadliest in the United States and is expected to kill approximately 45,750 Americans this year. It doesn't mention Canucks, although he is one, um, uh, because it's so difficult to detect early. Uh, pancreatic cancer, which is projected to become the second leading cause of cancer death as early as next year. Uh, anyway, so he revealed, uh, Alex Trebek revealed on Wednesday that he is being diagnosed with the stage four, uh, which means the cancer is spread to parts of his body far from the pancreas, such as the liver or inner lining of the abdomen. Um, but what's causing it? What's the thing about that is is what's causing it. Uh, it says the pancreas is a small gland uh, in the abdomen tucked between the stomach and the intestines, which is made up of exocrine cells that help digest food. The endocrine cells make hormones like insulin that control blood sugar, um, according to somebody from a Memorial Sloan Center. Uh, cancer occurs when some cells stop working correctly and grow out of control, forming tumors. Uh, as the tumors grow, they can spread to nearby organs like the bile duct, intestines, or stomach, um, lymph nodes, etc. So then they talk about why it's de- detected, uh, hard to detect early. Uh, what are these vague symptoms? Uh, pain in the upper abdomen, nausea, vomiting, undetected weight loss, a burning feeling in the stomach, inability to digest fatty foods, uh, jaundice, a yellowing of the skin, and itchiness. Uh, other signs and warnings and enlarged gallbladder, which how would you know if you had that? Uh, the sudden onset of type 2 diabetes, uh, risk factors they talk about, smoking tobacco, um, blah, 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 blah. America can't say, uh, 
But anyway, whatever. So, but my question here is, is what what's causing it? And I'm, I've got to say, it's all the nasty shit they put in the food. That's what's causing uh, the pancreatic cancer in so many people. That's 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 my personal belief on this. Although they don't mention any of that, of course, here on a mainstream site like Market Watch, which is uh, part of the Wall Street Journal, uh, which they're they're not going to talk about things like that. What they want you to do is go down there and get all the Get, get all the radiation crap treated for you. So, um, which I, I, I'm going to say, don't do that. <laughs> There's a lot better ways of dealing with your cancer should you uh, find that you have it. Number one, number one, baking soda. Baking soda is the number one way to beat any kind of cancer. Anyway, so I said, all right, let me, let me find out really what the, what the frick the god dang pancreas is here. And I went to another site, pathology.jhu.edu, which um, John, it's a John Hopkins University thing. Anyway, they go through here and they explain uh, the various um, functions of the pancreas, the parts of the pancreas, uh, how it looks, how it should look, uh, and, and how it winds up, uh, how people wind up dealing with it. Uh, the island islets of Langerhans are the endocrine uh, within endo within uh, cells of the pancreas that produce and secrete hormones such as insulin and glucagon into the bloodstream. The pancreatic hormones, insulin and glucagon, work together to maintain the proper level of sugar in the blood. Uh, blood sugar is used by the body for energy. Uh, pancreatitis feels like heartburn. Okay, well, it, it gives you some other things here that it that 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 that, that could be uh, that. It also talks about your bile duct, which is part of the uh, uh, pancreas there. And um, if you've ever puked up bile, that yellow, gooey it, you'll you'll know what it is. It's 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 not okay. It's not a forgettable thing when you puke up bile. It's <laughs> something you you'll remember for the rest of your life. Yeah. Oh, I know. I have done so. Um, anyway, it's just it's gross, and that means you got nothing Don't left. Really. Long. What's that? What's that? I don't know what you said. All right. Anyway, so it's it's really gross stuff. Anyway, but that comes I had out. I switch. Oh, okay. That comes out of the pancreas as well. Um, so uh, anyway, I, I'm I'm thinking, and it's got to be all the nasty shit that's in the food and the water and in the air that's causing. Um, well, yeah. These, these pancreatic yeah. cancer. I mean, it's killing forty-five thousand people a year. Uh, yeah, it's not a good. It's a death sentence, basically. And if he's at stage four already, all I can say is Alex should get some CBD oil. He lives in freaking Canada. I mean, that would be the treatment I would choose if I was him. Right at this point. I mean, if nothing else, to ease his pain because it's basically a death sentence. I mean, not very many people survive this kind of type of cancer. It's like brain cancer. It's one of the worst kinds you can get. Yeah, well, he said he's going to beat it. So I, 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 well, good. I, you know, I hope he fucking does. True, yeah. Roberts. We're all going to die sometimes. Life is a death sentence. But cancer just fucking sucks. And the treatment that they, they give you is the same treatment they've been using since the fucking, fucking 70s. And it doesn't fucking work. I've seen <laughs> loved ones die of this disease. And I know all about it. Because I've experienced it firsthand more times than I care to here to remember. I, I just saw Bessie's. I just saw Bessie's question here in the chat. She says, "Should I put the baking soda in the vinegar?" <laughs> no, <laughs> no, no, that will not work. <laughs> no. And wh what was this? He it, he died from his bitch wife. That's Who? not true. What? Who? What? That's not true. I. What you are know, you talking about? If you're gonna type stupid ass shit. Oh. Don't don't do that. That's so fucking lame to be. I'm not going to go. Okay, that's whatever. All right, whatever. Anyway, so, okay. Uh, no, um, no. Uh, let me tell you how to take the baking sure. soda. It's okay. super, super simple. Yep. E each morning when you get up, before you have your coffee, while, while the coffee's brewing, you take mm -hmm. a cup, you know, a 12-ounce cup or whatever, and you put one teaspoon. It doesn't have to be exact. It's a, it's a, it's a, you know, but close. One teaspoon of baking soda into a glass of water, stir it up, and drink yep. it down. Right. And, and you just do that every morning, and your pH stays level, and the cancer cannot live in that environment. 
The cancer right. will start it in dying. It's an acidic environment, right, Grim? Right. It has to have an acidic environment. And, and, right. And so you you drink that baking soda down each morning, yep. and you will you will always... It might not taste good, but who cares? You'll all, it, it tastes fine. It, oh, okay. I mean, it's just it's, like it's, it's, water, it's, like chalky, you're kind of, or something. Yeah, well, I don't know, whatever. It's not, it's not yeah. soda pop, that's for sure. No, no, but, no. <laughs> hell no. But it, whatever. You just drink it down. It, it's real, it's simple. And you just do that every morning. I make it part of your morning, you know, routine when you're getting up and making your coffee. Uh, right. You know, it, it's... No, and, and, I will start doing that. And, I, I need and, to. And baking soda is cheap. It's really, really cheap. Uh, yeah, it is very like, cheap. It's very, very cheap. Yeah, like you could buy a whole case for like ten bucks. I don't know, but yeah, whatever. You know. Five five pound bag for three dollars. Right. Maybe. Yeah, it's fucking cheap. And you're talking about a teaspoon a day. Yeah, it does kind of taste like salt water, Rob. Um, yep. Just but, and that won't kill you. Yeah, you can buy it in big packs now. <laughs> you can buy the Arm and Hammer in like friggin' big huge packs. You know. Yeah. Big or or whatever. You, 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 you could buy the generic at the store. Oh yeah, it, whatever, you know, man. It's same it's, stuff. It's, yeah. it's just cheap. I I've got right probably and a I, dozen. Baking soda is so good for so many other things. Like seriously, oh yeah, I had to terrific. use baking soda on my tiles in my bathroom to get the calcium deposits off from when my kid flooded the toilet. So I have tile in there, and in between the tiles and the grout, you know, it got all white because it's hard water deposits. So right. I seriously had to use baking soda and vinegar. I used both to get that shit off there. And, and you know, there's another use for baking soda. What? Baking. <laughs> right. You use it in baking. I, I, use, I keep a box in my refrigerator just to keep it, like, deodorized or yeah, whatever. Yeah, it's great deodorizer, great cleaner, great... And it's also good you know. for um, cleaning the smell or cleaning drains. Sink drains. Oh, yeah. Just pour like, a little down Sometimes drain. my fucking drain with the disposal... This boulder gets so fucking bad yeah. that I have to just dump like baking soda down there and let it sit overnight. Right. It clears up the smell right away. Sure, sure. Yeah, it totally fucking clears it up. Yep. Anyway, I I, I love the stuff and it, and, it, and it's awesome. So yeah, it is uh, good stuff. And vinegar is good stuff too. So well, yeah. I use vinegar for cleaning all the but time. But not like, together. You what don't do you use vinegar? Use I'm like, because it works and it's cheap. <laughs> Well, you could do that if you want, Rome's, uh, or uh, one teaspoon is nothing. I mean, when you when you mix it in the water, it's gone. You don't you don't know it's in there. Right, it just dissolves. Yeah, whatever. But uh, yeah, if if te a teaspoon is too much for whatever you, whatever mercy, I just start <laughs> start small and work up to it. You know, yeah. you don't have to do exactly the same amount. You can do whatever you know. Right. You're I mean, a smaller guy than than Grimner. You probably smaller. don't need as much. You're like half of me. Right. So you don't need as much as he does. It's like whatever works for you. Like I'm sure there's like charts online or whatever. You know what I mean? You can oh, find, yeah, yeah, you know, know, recommended yeah. dosages or whatever. You know, yeah. whatever. Whatever. It'll, it'll prevent you from getting the cancer in the first place. But if yeah, you've got you know, it, but if you've right. got it already, it will kill it. And I believe also in a colloidal silver. Um, a friend of mine makes it. Right. And I'm gonna. I'm gonna. Research how to how to get the, the the tools to make my own. I'm gonna just make my own. I don't want to rely on somebody else to make it for me. I just want to make my own. If it's easy enough, I'm gonna do it myself. You know what I mean? Right. I mean, and I believe in that stuff. And I believe in the baking soda. And I believe in all of all anything natural is a good thing. Yeah, I, I don't know about soaking your feet and absorbing it through your skin, but. Uh, if... You could do it that way, but it, I think it would be a slower reaction to get to where you want it to be when you drink it it's like right there you absorb it like immediately you know what I mean right when you drink it when you soak it into your skin it's a different absorption you know what I'm see saying yeah. it wouldn't hurt to do that but I think you want it to be like on board like right away in, in order for to do that it's a drinking it's the best way to probably but oh. I would have to do research don't take my word on that Romes because you know I'm not a fucking doctor <laughs> You or could, whatever, you, you know, you, you expert could, on baking soda. You could mainline it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> anyway. I, I tried mean, not to make the show be a train wreck, but with the dog issue, it's just like, holy shit. I, you know, I don't, I can't predict what he's going to do. 
You know, it's like uh, having kids. Like when my kids were younger, and I was doing the figures. You know what I mean? It's just like, hang on a minute, hang on a minute. You know. Yeah. But sure. he is a smart dog. He does learn when, when he does something wrong. He learns that he's not supposed to do that. You know what I mean? And he doesn't try it again. You know, after right. like, and I don't hurt him in any way. You know what I mean? I just yell and like, and you know, what the hell? You know, what I mean? or whatever. You know what I mean? Just right. you gotta you gotta make them know that what they did was wrong, but you don't have to like physically touch them or in any way. You know what I mean? Yeah. Because dogs, they want to please you. Dogs do want to please you. They want to make you happy. They don't like being in trouble and stuff. You know what I mean? They want treats and shit. You know? <laughs> yeah. Most dogs. You know what I mean? There's some dogs that are not like that, but for the most part, dogs want to please their owners. You know? Right. So I'm just really impressed on how quickly he does learn stuff, though. He is really smart. He's a really smart dog. Really good. Really good dog. Sure. Really good dog, yeah. But anyway, um, yeah, um, Grammy did a show about baking soda for sure, Rome's. Yes, she did. You're right. Yeah, you could yeah. do it a little bit at a time. You don't have to do, you know, as much as... Grimner does or whatever. You do what works for you, you know? Right. Some is better than none. That's all, you know. Well, and you can eat good to make sure, you know, you can also do other things besides just, you know what I mean, taking it that way, but. Yeah. And all that right. was really heartbreaking about Alex Trebek, though, is that he came out, he, he made a statement or whatever, that says he wished he would have met his wife 29 years earlier. Right. I mean, that's pretty sad. <laughs> I feel bad, you know. Yeah. And yeah. He's, he's, he just seems like he's a really cool dude. You know, I think, like... I, th I think he's a genuinely like he's, good what? guy. What? I think he's a genuinely good guy. Yeah, that's how I feel, too, you know. Yeah. And um, I just wish the best for him. I hope that he pulls through... Um, it's a bad, it's a it's a freaking bad oh bad uh diagnosis so right but hopefully he gets the, I, if I was him I'd be doing like in CBD oil sure absolutely you know and absolutely. baking soda and it what you know what I mean right and hopefully that's the way he that's what he's talking about when he says he says he's gonna fight it you know what I mean not the chemo and shit yeah chemo don't I mean chemo does not fucking work. As far as I, no, no, chemo kills, it, kills all I, 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 okay, back in the 70s when my grandfather died and they did chemo on him. Didn't fucking work. Then flash back to the fucking 2000 and fucking 8 or whatever. And my, it didn't work for my fucking friend. It made her worse and it made her die in absolute agony. Yeah. Because it thinned the lining of her lungs. The chemo did that. So every breath she took was painful. Right. And I'm sorry, I'm not going out like that. And was she getting the radiation too? Yep. Yeah. She had done that before the chemo. Yeah, so they did the radiation cancer. first, then the chemo. Oh yep. yeah, it'll kill the yep. cancer. And but... she had, she went, you know, <laughs> on the top of that, she was terminal. Yeah. She was terminal from the get go. Why? Why? You know, why? Why do those extraordinary measures when she's, you know, it's already a death sentence? That makes no fucking sense at all. No. To me. It made no sense to me. Yep. You know. But anyway, um, so what I'm saying is the treatment, quote unquote, hasn't changed much from the seventies till now. We're talking forty over forty years. You right. know? Yeah, no, it's working for them, so because they make a yeah, lot of money. Yeah, because it's a money maker for them. They don't give a fuck. Yeah. They don't care about you as a person. They care about one thing, and that's fucking money. They don't yep. give a fuck if your loved one's dying. They don't they care. They do not. They certainly They're like, do oh, not. They, say, they, they say dollar signs. They hear cancer, and right immediately, dollar signs. Yeah. You know what I mean? Oh, yeah. Oh, how much money can we make off this one? Right. You know? It's disgusting. It is. That's it's, why I told my totally. kids, I said, if that ever happens to me, I'm not doing the chemo and radiation. I will not fucking do it. Right. No fucking way. 
The problem with my friend is that she didn't make her wishes known before she had her first surgery to remove the the tumor, the the initial thing, you know? So if I were you people, write up something simple called an advanced directive that describes in detail what you want to happen if you are in a state where you cannot make decisions and you cannot speak for yourself. Write it down ahead of time. And it sounds gruesome and terrible, but you don't want other people making decisions for you. Because my friend, if she would have made her own decisions and said ahead of time that she doesn't want chemo or radiation, Mm -hmm. she could have died not in as much pain. And it was a terminal illness from the get-go. So I believe she would have chose not to do the chemo and radiation. But the decision was made for her by her husband because she was in no condition to make the decision after the surgery. So after the, you got to do it beforehand. You know what I mean? Right. Because she, once the surgery happened, since she was married, someone else was making the decisions for her, which is bullshit because she ended up dying in absolute agony. Right. You know? And that's not what I want. I'm Me like either. fucking I, I hopefully about, by the time I'm going they'll be like the lethal injection will be like legal. You know what I mean? Oh sure. All right, let's go to back to the music here. Enough of this. All right, let's do that. Sorry to be talking about a gruesome subject, you guys, but <laughs> seriously, if you like, even my mom said I'm, I'm sorry, Grandma, I know you want to play music, but even my mom said have an advance you need to have two things really. An advance directive and a will. And, and you, need to have, because, you, have, you need to have three words tattooed in big letters across your chest. What? Do not resuscitate. Right. <laughs> DNR. You can put DNR. You don't have to put the whole thing. Uh, but stupid, so. if you have an advance directive, that will that's where you just declare. If, 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 you, you know, if they have to go to life-saving measures because you're so fucked up, you know, to save yeah, you, yeah. you can say, no, don't take any life-saving measures to save me. I want to, you know, I'm DNR. I'm, I'm ready to go. To yep. yep. That's what the advanced directive is for, Graham. And then the other thing is the will, because my aunt died recently, and she had no will. And it's been a big fucking mess and a nightmare for all the other people that have to deal with our shit. You know what yeah. I mean? Oh yeah. oh, yeah. It's like kind of saying the big fuck you to everybody. Like, oh, I'm not going to deal with this shit. I'm gone. You deal with it. That's bullshit. You know what I mean? Sure. Yeah, that's not a good position to put people that in. In. You know what I mean? Right. Right. So I would just suggest doing that. The advanced right. directive and the, and it doesn't have to be. You don't have to go to a lawyer. You just write up your own and get it notarized. It's it, it, it's free. You can do it. You know what I mean? Yeah. It doesn't have to. As long as it's notarized, you're good to go. That's good thinking, Beth. What's that? She put her daughters on Right, the right. That's yeah. what I will do with my boys with this house, too. Yeah. That's what I'm going to do with them. Yep. Yep. For All sure. right. So here we go. All right. Okay. Sorry, guys. Okay. We'll, we'll no be back. We'll be back. We'll be back. Hey, Jerry. How's it going? <laughs> John Five is the creatures there from their new album. I am John Five. So yeah, look for that new album. Uh, I, 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 is that what the album's called? I, I forget what the album's called. Anyway, a new album came out, so check it out. John Five, the uh, guitarist for Rob Zombie. Before that, we had Joe Bonamassa, Ruthie Foster, Chris Kane, Eric Gale, Solomon Hicks. On the Keeping the Blues Alive tour, uh, uh, Keeping the Blues Alive at Sea, actually. Uh, the thrill is gone. Yes, the thrill is gone. And the ever-present, ever-annoying Paul Schaefer <laughs> that adds nothing, nothing to the music. He's just there being annoying. And we kicked it off there with uh, the Moose Girl request, Grateful Dead. Man smart, woman smarter. You got that right, baby. You're damn right. Uh... Car, uh, 
I'm going to do... Hey, you got to switch back to your headset. Uh, or something. I, I'm, just, I'm looking up of it right now. See, you got to switch back. Cardboard, snow plow. Anyway, switch, um, yeah. so <laughs> what I need, yes, an ATV would work, Rome, as long as I could hook a plow up to it that would, like, lift up and stuff, you know. You have to switch back to your headset? Oh, shit. Oh, crap. <laughs> Damn it. It's all right. It's all right. I just did all that. All right. There. The, the, Damn it. I keep forgetting <laughs> to switch that back. Anyway, because I want to hear the tunes, like, through my speakers instead of my headset. So that's why I, like, I do the switch. Otherwise, right. I wouldn't have to switch. All right. All but right. I got both speakers. I mean, come on. I got to hear the song to the speakers. And, oh, you know. yeah. Absolutely. And I got this new system. I mean, I have to use it to its full potential. No doubt about it. Okay, so here we go, Grim. <laughs> Okay, this is this is what happens when you get really inventive and really stir crazy in the winter. I'm gonna post it in the PM drum and you can play it. And we you don't have to like we don't have to mute or anything. It's short, but All this right. is pretty fucking funny if you ask me. Okay. So what this guy has is a John Deere riding lawnmower, and he's he improvised a, a little plow to use on his. John Deere riding lawnmower to move snow. Cool. Right. Okay, so play that vid, Grim. All right, hang on. If you would, please. Hang on. It's pretty hilarious. I showed my son Matt. Matt's just like, really? I'm really? like, hey, you do what you got to fucking do. Right, Rose. But he's probably a poor bastard that just wants to be a fucking redneck hick. Oh, I can do this without a, a, an attachment. Yeah. No. Where'd you go? Hello. Hello. Hello, did you mute? Hello. Oh, I'm sorry, I muted. <laughs> so what? He's pushing a small amount of snow compared. I mean, we have ninety. We're we're gonna have ninety inches of snow on the ground. That's insane. All right, but anyway, this is pretty funny. Anyway, right, it's right. redneck kick shit. It's pretty funny. What the hell? It's like the front of a oven or something. It's a John Deere. It's like a box for a TV. Oh, it's a cardboard box. Okay, I was like. <laughs> Sounds like an oven door. <laughs> <laughs> that's a, that's a box. Genius! Genius! You just think it there, buddy. Until the box collapses because it gets so wet that, it, that it's cardboard. <laughs> hey, it's working. Hey, no, that's nifty, yeah. It's pretty working. It's working good. You yeah. know, for the amount of snow he's going to move. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, he can't go back. He's uh, trying to hilarious. back up. It ain't working so well. That's <laughs> fucking hilarious. <laughs> Only, like, in the northern climates would you see such a thing. It's, it, it's like, dude, why don't you just buy the attachment and get the actual plow? No, oh, I'm such a cheap bastard. I can do this a different way. <laughs> uh, you the snow back where you took it from. What? Cleared that area out, and I got no snow on it. Right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's working. Oh, that's terrific. You know? <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, it's hilarious. Oh man. Yeah, oh, they yeah. have a they have a uh, for for a jeep. You can get a, a snowplow for the front end. Yeah, that would be cool. I've seen jeeps with plows driving around. A couple. I'm all jealous. Like I see like the, those little fucking. Um, like the riding lawnmowers with the plow attachment on front. I'm just all like jealous. Like, oh my god, I wish I had that. <laughs> this is what happens in Wisconsin. Especially when you have this much snow. You yeah. get all jealous of all these people like snow moving equipment. You're like, oh my god, I wish I had that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know, like Matt's like all dreaming. Like, he, like we were all doing one time. He's like, look at that guy over there, Bob. He's got his nice little big old errands just like plowing through the fucking shit. He's like, that's what we need, Bob. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, yes, I know, Matt. I know, I know. <laughs> oh my God, it's hilarious. Because you, you know, you don't know what it's like to experience it unless you actually are living it. You know what I mean? Right. And you know that everyone else around you in the same town is living it at the same time, so you can't really get too pissed off at people. No. Because everyone's doing it. Everyone's experienced the same shit, and we're all not happy about it, right? Uh, I'm sure you're not. So it's like you can't be, like, getting all fucking out of control. you got to be like, oh, yeah, we live in Wisconsin. Oh, yeah. It sucks. We deal with this. Right. It's 
this sucks, man. Yeah, it's just, oh my god. Oh my god. Uh, but All anyway, right. um, no, if Matt had his way, we'd be at, buy the $1,200 snowball, snowball with the fucking heated handlebars and yeah, shit, yeah. you know? Yeah, right. you, still, uh, you know, you buy your, your own snowplow. Right, we're we're dumb bitches. We're not dumb. We're poor. I meant to be poor. Me, me to say poor. We're poor. Oh. We're not oh. dumb, but we're poor. <laughs> All right, I, sh- I should have got this story before when you were, okay. we were we were talking about those stupid cops in Boulder, but I yeah, didn't. Yeah, so. Oh my god. Anyway, yep. so so here it is from the blacklistednews.com dot com website. Mm-hmm. Uh, bad cops furious. After judge orders records of problem police officers to be unsealed. Imagine that. They're not happy about being exposed. Imagine that. Anyway, a, a judge in Southern California lifted a temporary seal on Orange County police misconduct records uh, Thursday, striking another blow to police unions who have argued in court across the state that unsealing the records violates officers' constitutional rights to privacy. Oh, fuck them! Oh, officer! But, but, but wait, oh, wait, but wait. I'm an officer, so that makes me special! But, but, but wait. Yeah, you're special, all right, buddy. But okay. you're not in the way that you think you are, dude. The, no, the, you're, but you're but not listen, special the way you think that you are. You're, but, you're a certain kind of special there, buddy. But listen to what they don't want revealed. <laughs> well, the new California law opens up access to previously previously shielded internal records on police shootings. Com- shielded po- uh, complaints of sexual assault by officers. Imagine that! No. And records on police misconduct. Uh, oh no, that never happens. So they're, they're out there murdering and and raping yeah. and 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 fucking and getting away with it and going to the wrong people's house and terrorizing an innocent family with a fucking two year old in the house or three year old. And they, you know, they, they, and nobody... totally being terroristic and having masks on your face and being all scary looking and all jack booted out as much as you possibly can be. And, and, and then nobody. Told, it's like, really? Do you guys all get hard ons? I, I think they get hard ons when they do that stuff. Oh, I'm sure they do. I'm sure they do. Because that's got to be the only reason why they keep doing it. Yeah. They have to get a hard on when they do that. Because other, cause they get off on it, dude. Oh, well, yeah. Well, they're because all they pumped up on so steroids. And... Oh, I'm an authority. I'm an officer. I wear a costume. Yeah, I got this shiny new bag. I'm a badass, dude. So I can do whatever the fuck I want. I got a license to kill. No, so no, you can't, motherfucker. You can't, <laughs> and you wear a costume. Anyway, it goes on. It goes on you to know. say, attorneys for the Association of Orange County Depart Orange County Deputy Sheriffs sought to stop the release of the records, arguing in court papers that state lawmakers were unclear whether they intended the law. Which took effect on January first. Oh my 1st. God! That old argument. We're unclear. Uh, which took effect January first. Like, you know if, 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 if a cop pulls you over and says, "Are you? Have you been drinking and driving?" If you have been drinking and driving, if you're drunk as fuck, and he pulls you over, <coughs> you know, bust your ass. Have you been drinking? It's unclear, officer. <laughs> anyway, Which obviously, it's they, not going to be unclear. Okay. But, you know me, what I mean? Let me finish. It doesn't work for us. <laughs> Those, these excuses that they use don't work for the average person. Is All right. What I'm let, me, let, me, let me finish the sentence here. Okay. All right. It was unclear whether they intended for the law, which took effect January 1st, to apply to all records, including those that cover past incidents. They, so they were saying, well, you know, maybe we will do it in the future now that those records will be out there in the open. But all the stuff that we've been raping and killing yeah, in the nice past, try. that should be just fine. Yeah, <laughs> but how much of this, the, the misconduct that happens goes reported? Well, I mean, that's, most that's, of the misconduct that uh, that's, they that's do is whole, unreported. That, it's that's like they turn the body cam off. That's Conveniently, they turn the body cam off so they can beat someone, someone to a pulp. You know. Anyway, I mean? apparently, Orange County Superior Court Judge Nathan Scott denied the union's request for a preliminary injunction saying in a 10-page order Thursday that the temporary restraining order he approved will be lifted on March 15th in a timeline that allows the union to appeal the ruling if they choose, which, of course, they will. No, uh, no, of course. The attorney for the union did not respond to a request for comment. 
Uh, Scott dismissed the union's argument that officers' privacy protections were at risk, saying in the order that the disclosure of misconduct records was a matter of public interest and that it is unknown whether any released information would actually harm an officer. So, um, expect this judge to wind up dead somewhere. Special treatment's disgusting. <laughs> these guys, these pigs, all across this country, get away with murdering innocent people all the fucking time. And a lot of times, it's the peop, the person they kill was doing nothing wrong. Right. You know, and, and but yet they get away with it. Because, oh, like you said, they inter they investigate themselves. Okay, I'm sorry, that doesn't work. Because they're all in this brotherhood shit, this blue brotherhood, blue line, blah, 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 blah. You know? Well, well, well. And then these fucking guys in the military, you know, a lot of the, a lot of the cops are ex-military, right? So yeah. They've been trained. It's okay to fucking kill a person. It's okay to fucking kill a If you're ordered to kill somebody... It's okay to do it. Well, according to them, yeah, sure. Right. It, oh, oops, collateral damage. Oh, we, we 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 did a bomb strike, but it didn't hit our intended target. No, it hit a school. Okay, well, speaking, or a hospital. Spe it's speaking, like fuck you. <laughs> but Moose, speaking of uh, collateral damage, killing and bombing, um, here it is. Trump cancels report on civilians killed by U.S. drone strikes. Of course he does. Well, they don't want you to know that. They no, don't want those do numbers not. released. The fact that there's even a story on it, though, should tell you something that it's happened. It has happened. Okay. You don't, his, you know, do you really want to know the actual number? Does it matter? Is it, does it matter if it's one or a million? How many, you know... How many numbers does it matter? You know what I mean? Uh, one, yeah, anyway. anyway uh, in, in, in his latest attack on transparency, the Trumpster on Wednesday rescinded a rule requiring U.S. intelligence officials to publicly disclose the number of civilians killed by drone strikes. Of fucking course, as per usual. They don't want you, they don't, they don't, they're not transparent. Yeah. They sit there and go, we're going to be transparent. Okay. Yeah, but you know what? You know what my mantra is about the government? What? Whatever they say is whatever they say. Believe the opposite. Anyway, uh, shameful, yeah. indefensible, dangerous. Tweeted Elizabeth Beaver. Holy fuck! Associate De policy what? director. What? Elizabeth Beaver. Beavers. How do you spell that? Beavers, like a beaver. B e a v e r s. Yeah. Or is it B e v? No, B E V E R S. B E A. Elizabeth. How can you have that as a last fucking name? She's a. Well, That's crazy. Unless she's whatever. Native American or something. Uh, uh, I doubt it, but whatever. Why would you think. Oh, anyway, so Tr Trump used an executive order to scrap a three year old rule which instructed the Director of National Intelligence, which used to be Clapper, I don't know who it is now, uh, to produce an annual report on all civilians killed by U.S. drone strikes outside of official war zones. Uh, Common Dreams reported the White House ignored last May's deadline for disclosing civilian deaths from drone strikes and suggested he could rescind the transparency requirement. Now that rule has been canceled, critics feared that the Trump administration will be able to continue expanding the use of drone strikes overseas with less oversight. They, there's no oversight. What do you mean less? How can it be less than none? <laughs> <laughs> it's all the semantics in the word playground, you know. Anyway, so he wants his, you know, to be able to just go out and murder people at will without anybody knowing about it. Just of like course. the freaking. That's what they do. That's what they want to do. That, that's their goal. Just like the freaking cops do. Just to be out in the open with it. Just be like, you don't, you don't adhere. You're done. Yeah. So you've seen Final Total Recall. There you go from the AntiMedia dot com. Uh, it, it, it is disgusting. It is absolutely disgusting. It is. It's disgusting. But, totally. But but of course, prior to that rule being put in three years ago, they never told anybody either. So. And that's why I'm like not all fucking enthused anymore about being a part of the fucking system. It's like fuck this. Absolutely. You know, it doesn't fucking. I don't. 
I don't get anywhere fast. I mean, I was at a fucking job for four fucking years, and I sure as hell didn't advance as much as I should have. Yeah. Cheap bastards. You yeah, know what I mean? Right. Tr- Trump was they on that pedophile They don't fucking like good yet. fucking people. They fucking See that, hire they... stupid fucks that don't even know how to do their fucking job. And they treat, you know, the, the good people, the good workers like shit. Yeah, it's like, they... fuck that. They give, like, special people special treatment. It's like, fuck you. You can't do the fucking job. You can't do the fucking job. You know, I mean, I'm sorry, but I'm not like a hard ass. But seriously, if someone can't do a fucking job, you fucking fire them. Well, you see that you don't keep them on for a fucking year. <laughs> give them a chance. If they're incompetent from the get go, how do you keep a person on like that? I don't know. Anyway, you it's see what's stupid. Uh, and then you... they, they fucking oh, well, we're trying to save money. Yeah, you want to save fucking money? Don't hire fucking dumbasses. I mean, come on. <laughs> All right, Moose. <laughs> yeah, you see what Rome said there? That Trump was also on. I Ep- know, I know. Epstein's yet. He's that pedophile guy. He's the guy What's that, that, that fucking he has, guy? A, he has the pedophile island, Epstein. Well, Epstein, yeah, totally. Oh, yeah, they're fucking, they're scumbags, so dude. Tr- they're so Trump, fucking scumbags, and Clinton was in on it, too. Trump and Hillary. They're all funny. And, you, guys, and, you guys think the Republicans and Democrats are, like, against each other? <laughs> no, they're not. They party with each other and shit. They're all friends together. You guys, it's all, the two-party system is a big fucking act. You guys yeah. are fucking, anybody that, believes, that thinks there's a difference... You guys are fucking so far gone from misunder- in, in, in misunderstanding how this shit is what it is, really. Yeah, that you guys right. don't even... I mean, seriously. All right. I don't know what there is to tell you, but if you guys seriously think there's a difference between the two parties, you're fucking... You're behind. Behind. You're way back. back. Many years behind. All right. We're going to play some more music here. Um, All right. This is another track from the Keeping the Blues a live cruise. Who cares about the fucking president's wife? She's not the fucking president. No, she's not, thankfully. Wait, wait. I don't know. It doesn't matter. <laughs> anyway, actually, she'd probably be better. Because at least she'd be at least decent to look at. Anyway, so <laughs> here you go. Uh, Joe Bonamassa, Kenny Wayne Shepard, Samantha Fish, Walter Trout, and Jimmy Hall. Oh, yeah. Going down. Right, we ain't got nothing yet, baby. That's for show. <laughs> that's the that's the uh, the blues and the goos there uh, with we ain't got nothing yet uh, from 1966-67 era, and uh, a Monroe's retro video, by the way, as was the previous one, a Monroe's retro video, Cream and Spoonful, also from the 66-67 era, and we kicked it off. Uh, with a keep from keeping the blues alive at sea cruise, there Joe Bonamassa, not Bonamasso, John, Joe Bonamassa, Kenny Wayne Shepherd, Samantha Fish, Walter Trout doing going down. Ah, that's some excellent, excellent music there. Cross yeah, it the was. board. Oh, what? I have to mute the player. There we go. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. Yeah, nice stuff, Graham. Yeah. For sure. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, go in. Awesome. Anyway. So, are we done? Are we? No, we're not Almost. Done. Almost. Well, what? Yeah, almost, but not quite. What was that? Uh, something, something, <laughs> that, something that shouldn't be there. All right. That's all right. That's okay. <laughs> So, yeah, it's been real, man. I mean, we're still here. It's, we're, we made it through another week. I will not be here next week because I'm going to see the infamous <laughs> String Dusters live, in person. Live, in person. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Can you <laughs> like, handle it? I'm, like, beyond stoked. But they will be playing on Mixler tomorrow night and Sunday during the day. And Kate... My friend Kate, our friend Kate, is going to the same vessel as he, Gary Clark Jr., the same vessel the String Dusters are playing at. Sweet. So I told her she needs to go there for at least one Duster song in my honor. <laughs> okay. I want her to hear, you know, see them live one time, one, at least one song, 
would be really cool. But, I mean, you know, I get it. Because Gary, like, the Infinite Transitions play at, like, a 3.30. Yeah. And Gary Clark Jr. plays at, like, 7. Okay. So there's, like, a big gap. You know what I mean? Oh, all right, all right. Well, there's other but, stuff, other you know, stuff going on. You never other know. Stuff, there's other stuff going on in the middle. Hopefully Kate will, the, and her friends will catch at least one Duster song. Like, if they get there at 4, mm-hmm. they'll catch, like, half the Duster set. Cool. You know, or whatever. I don't know how long they're going to play. You know what I mean? Right. It's a festival because there's multi bands, not just them. Mm-hmm. So, but um, they will be on Mixler. That show will be on Mixler. So Maybe. I'm going to be listening to it. All right, cool. For sure. And then next Friday, I get to see them live in Wausau. Oh, okay, okay. I'm so stoked. I, I'm sure you can't tell that I'm stoked. Oh no, not at all. <laughs> I'm like feeling, I'm like I gotta get there I gotta get there like I gotta work till 4 and the show is like 7 but they have an opening act yeah. so I have to make sure I get there at the right time so I can be on the rail dude on, on the, the rail. rail hot rail to hell yeah, right, you uh, know it be anyway, right get, front me, and center let, let me get or, on, or on the fe- <laughs> look, Falco side right? alright let me get this story in real quick before we run out of time alright and this story is a year old so Okay. But uh, a year old All today, right. a year old today, actually. Um, yeah, that's okay. But and just in case you're ever out there in the middle of the night and and you got the munchies, you know, you just got out of a concert or right. whatever, right. Um, I, I have actually been there myself. I have. Mid- I've been there. In the middle of the night looking for some place to eat. And it's right. possible that I had the problem that they were trying to prevent. <laughs> IHOP clarifies that stoners are welcome in its restaurants. Nice. It's nice. A, it's a, it's a, <laughs> a, ignore the photo of the sign that's all over the internet. You and your strong marijuana odor are welcome to grab a table for two. <laughs> yeah, it's, a, it's 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 actually uh speaking of Kenny Wayne Shepherd and, and Gary Clark Jr., um, Mm -hmm. Kate and I and some other friends were Mm -hmm. down there in the town of Austin, and and we'd we'd watch the Gary Clark uh, show over at at, uh, Antone's, and then we walked over to the Continental Club and and saw Gary Clark Jr., and then it was like 3 in the morning or something like that. Wow, yeah, yeah. And we were definitely drunk and stoned. Drunk, yeah. And stoned. <laughs> good, 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 good. <laughs> and we were looking for a place to eat, and there was the IHOP. And we there all we go. We, IHOP we, to the rescue. So we all went in there. Anyway, it says, if it's the, one of the single-digit hours of the morning, you're pleasantly blazed. and, cra- <laughs> and You're cra- welcome here. And craving a half dozen plates of gluten and high fructose. Sure, we want stoners. Uh, we want syrup. munchy stoners. We where do. where we else would you munchies. go? Yeah, we'll take your money. Where else would you go but IHOP? Hey, we used to, there used to be this place called the Flame Burger yeah. in Minneapolis. And it's still there. I mean, they still have these places. Like, there's like three of them or something. But we there used to be one close, you know, so we'd go there like after bar. Yeah. We'd be like, we came to the Flame. But, oh, my God, that food there was so good. It's it's just the food that you need, too. It's well, just like look, an egg know, and the hash browns or the burger or whatever. It's just like, oh, yeah. Yeah, you, you know, know I- IHOP's not great food, but but that, no. the, the thing is, who cares when you're drunk and stoned? Right, you don't care. Yeah, 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 you're out there. All right, we've got to do this last set here. <laughs> All right, let's do that. All right. All righty, then. This, this. We shall return. We shall. This here coming up is a Benoit request. Ooh, okay. Yeah, Blackberry, yeah. <laughs> Stoner Train, Black Betty. Oh, I love Stoner Train, they're a great band. And before that, we had um, a parody of the Bohemian Rhapsody by Queen song uh, called Opinion Rhapsody. Grammy Mary posted that, requested that that song earlier this evening. Thank you, Grammy. That was terrific. I really enjoyed that. Uh, Anyway, we kicked it off there with a Benoit request, Buffalo Clover, The Ruse. Uh, Yeah. Yeah. That was was, was, pretty much uh, 
That's pretty much it. Yep, that's it, people. That's, that's it, folks. Have a good weekend, everyone. Thanks yeah. for tuning in. It's been real. It's been fun. It's been whatever it has been. It's been um, whatever it's been. And, by the way, stay yep. tuned to RLM Radio this weekend. You got you got mm-hmm. Flash tomorrow at the Dork Table. Uh, you, you got me on Sunday playing the blues, playing the trivia here in the chat, doing that Alex Trebek stuff. Right. <laughs> Hal Anthony following up after that behind the woodshed. Open up the big old can of whoop ass. I'll be back Monday night. With Grim Leftovers. And I will be back. I mean, I will be at the infamous String Dusters on Friday night. And right. I'm sure it will be live on Mixler. I, I don't know for sure, for sure. But it could be. You might hear me hooting and hollering if you listen in. For sure, for sure. I will not be here at the Figures Ball because I'm going to go get dusted by my boys, the infamous String Dusters. Right. So next, next the Friday. The best bluegrass bands ever. <laughs> Next Friday, plan on putting their balls to the wall. Yeah. Yeah. But I will not be here. So you guys enjoy that. And it's going to be a real good time. I Mm -hmm. guarantee you. I know what it is. You betcha. All right. Yeah. We are. Okay. Good night, everyone. Have a good night. Peace out, all.